Alright, this is a follow-up on another video I did where I did some testing on the analog port right here of the ROTG 01 and 02 on-the-go receivers which basically put the picture, the FPV picture, up on your PC or tablet which is kind of handy so you can watch the video feed on your tablet or PC. Who wouldn't want that, right? Well, it usually gets power, and this is one question people ask us, it usually gets power from the USB port on the, the laptop or notebook, whatever, and it goes down through this cable into the USB port on the ROTG, and that's what powers it normally. You could power it off the red wire on the analog port right here, and this is right here, you can see it's got audio, video, 5 volts, and ground. That's what those mean. If I zoom in right here. Okay, so the question people were having was, they noticed that when I was doing the scan, this monitor would go black, and you couldn't see anything until a frequency was found. Whereas on the PC, you could see the frequency numbers and the cursor moving across the screen. So I concluded that the analog port was not putting out the digital signal for the numbers and the, and the scanning bar that goes across. You could see the picture on the monitor, but that was it. And while it was scanning, you couldn't see anything. So the controversy is, is the monitor just blue screening or not showing anything when it gets static and therefore my test was false? Well, it turns out no, that wasn't the reason at all. In fact, even with goggles, it still does the same thing. And the goggles show snow, but they still don't show the scanning things. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and test it and show you what I mean. Now, these goggles won't blue screen. They continue to work and show static if there's no signal. So you can definitely see what's going on. All right, now you're looking at my PC. This is my laptop, actually. I'm going to run a program called AMCAP EXE just so that we can get a signal from the ROTG. So I'm going to run this. Now in order to run AMCAP you have to run it as administrator sometimes in Windows. Windows won't let it do certain things. So you do that, start it up. Okay, now you can see the snow coming from the ROTG. Right there, it's just snow. Let me double check my recording program, make sure everything looks good on it. Yep, it looks like everything's on the screen where you can see it. Wanted to make sure. Okay, so we got snow right here right now. And if I press the button on the ROTG right here, hold it down, you can see it starts to scan. Now it's scanning across the screen. And if it, it'll, if it picks up a signal, when it gets done scanning, it'll throw the signal up there. Well, it's not going to find anything because I need to start up my camera. So I'm going to go ahead and start up my camera right here. This is just one of those little transmitter camera combos from RunCam. Nice little units. Has, has the ability to just mount it on a very small plane and do FPV. Or even on a quad. It has its own little transmitter there. Okay. I'll just aim that over here at me. All right, let's do the scan again. Hold down the button. We'll let it scan, see if we can find anything. Here we go. It should find that frequency. See if the camera's going right there. You can see it is. Okay, it's starting to, it found a frequency. You can see that come up on the screen just for a second. Now it's going to lock on to it. Okay, bam, there's your frequency. Okay, now let's go ahead and use goggles. I'm going to go ahead and just unplug the monitor here. Take that out of the picture because we know that doesn't show anything. It doesn't show the scanning, the scanning stuff anyway. It does show the picture when you get a picture, but it doesn't show the scanning stuff. Okay, I'm going to plug my goggles. I've got a cable here that just plugs straight into my goggles on this end over here. 
And now I'm going to energize the goggles, put the battery on, whatever you call it. Okay, now I'm going to start the goggles recording. Okay, I'm going to hold down the button once and then press it quickly. Quick press. Okay, I'm recording now. And I can see the picture in the goggles. Yep, I see myself looking at myself with a camera looking at me. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so the goggles are working. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and press this button again and let it scan and see if you can see what I would like to see. I would like to see, you can see on the screen here, I would like to see these numbers and that cursor going across. That's what we're looking for. But if you look in the goggles, you'll see they're just flashing. I put the goggles up in the corner there where you can see them. And they're just flashing. And it does show a picture every once in a while as it goes through the frequency on the scan. But after it locks in, now you can see the picture on the goggles just like you can on the PC. But you notice there was no scanning information. You couldn't see the cursor and you couldn't see the frequency numbers. I'll do it again, just so you can see it again. Holding the button, starting the scan, now the goggles are just flickering. Just flickering, no picture. And every once in a while a picture will come in if it finds a frequency, like in this area, see it flickered and you could see a little bit of a picture on the goggles. But it isn't until it locks in that you can actually get the picture. Okay, so there you go. So the results are still pretty much the same. The analog port right here, this analog port. And the yellow wire is a video and I'm using the ground, but I'm not using this red wire. It's not even hooked up because this gets the voltage from the USB cable. But as you can see, on the PC or on your tablet, you can see the numbers and you can see the cursor going across but on the goggles or any monitor you might use even though they don't blue screen and they keep the static when they're not getting a signal they still won't show that digital information with the numbers and the cursor so the results are still pretty much the same no change okay I hope that clears things up thanks for watching